Well, hello everyone. It is the first Friday in June. What is this? The second of June, and we have a good show for you today. I am Dell Delbridge, Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Let's get to it. If you like this content, please go to calldelltosell.com, find the tab that says on YouTube, click it, and it'll open up a page of QR codes. There you can use a smartphone to scan and get to the YouTube page, or you can just mouse over and click it on a PC. There you'll be able to subscribe to this little button over here and click the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when each Friday's blog has been uploaded. Thank you. Well, here we are at Redfin News. It's just redfin.com slash news. And we're going to see what uh, the Redfin people say. Starting out with this one, housing market update, mortgage rates are up, home sales are down, prices are resilient. Okay, let's look at, let's see, we want to look at that one. We'll pull that one up. Let's pull the, this one up next to it. Investor home purchases fell a record 49% year over year first quarter. All right, well, that's good to know. And then we had that outpaced a 41% drop in overall home purchases. Investors retreating as rise in interest rates and falling home values shrank potential profits. Right here, still investors bought up to 18% of the homes that were sold. That's down from a peak of 20% a year earlier, but is higher than pre-pandemic levels. All right, let's go back one. Debt ceiling crisis with LART will hit the housing market like a hurricane. Let's check this one right here. Out of town Moves have fallen 6% from a year ago compared with a 17% drop for in-town moves. Now, let's talk about that briefly. Now, if we fall out of town is only by 6% and in town is 17%, then we're still seeing a pretty good migration out of some of those areas because whatever's bringing people out of their home cities and states, they're likely to have a more complex uh, flavor in that particular stew that's bringing them to that conclusion and they're coming out and it's only down six percent from a year year over year now if we compare that to inside a city where people are just relocating with inside of a city that's almost one in five homes let's look back at that center panel there we are so it's going to tell us that fewer home buyers are looking to move to a different part of the country but the drop off isn't as big as those remaining close to home and that what i just said there we go so what do you say we look at my website and put you back into contact with some of those resources that i have available for you here we are at my page. This is my website called DellToSell.com. One L and Dell. Pop it in there and it should bring you to this. We have MLS at a glance and live data. If you want local information, like it says, Murfreesboro, Las Casas, Rockville, and Rutherford. That is for single family three twos. All of these are for single family three twos. Brentwood, Nolensville, Williamson County North, single family. Or if you just want to see the entire MLS unfiltered, we'll pop that up and see what it says. Now let's look at where we are in median price. We see the price is going back up. Remember it said prices are resilient. I saw one story that said prices were falling. Not in our area. They're getting back up almost where they were at their peak in June of 2022. So we're down a little bit if you want to do 385 and figure that to 400. That's only 15 off. And 15 out of 400, that's a quarter of 15. That'd be, what, 3.5%? So we're only down 3.5% if I did that mentally correct in my head. New listings, we're still running short, but we're gaining a little ground. Homes for sale, actually, they dropped down. And here's the thing. If homes for sale is decreasing and new listings are increasing, uh, what does that tell you about the relationship from the two in the moving on our market? Month supply of homes, we're still running about three months. That's pretty good. Median days on market, you see how this is dropping right back down? Ten days in May for the entire Middle Tennessee little MLS that we have here. The dollar volume is going back up. 
median price per square foot is at 214 going over here to the peak at 217 we're essentially where we were a year ago today closed sales are beginning to come back up people are deciding to get off the fence and get on the job and pending sales are coming back up as well so i think that is my three my three by three matrix of prices and what does that tell you we're not like the rest of the united states for the most part we are an outlier and we're doing pretty good compared to what they say off 17 off 40 some odd percent and then we're looking at down 17 percent around town but yet the state move to moves are only down a little bit what does that tell you well i think it tells you that people are still moving into some areas and they're moving out of other areas where are they coming i think a lot of them are coming to middle tennessee because they do what they call dell to sell so remember hit that website it's free i don't really track people and run you down and say thank you unless of course you hit the send Dell a message which you're more encouraged to do so so let's get on with our daily numbers hello i'm Dell delbert to benchmark realty murfreesboro tennessee if you are currently unrepresented and would like to know how to compare up to three properties side by side and room by room then go over to my new youtube channel call Dell to sell that's one l and Dell, no spaces watch the demo on real scout and then call me and we'll set up your exclusive ad free account today all right, we're back in uh, the Studio K, and I do have a number here. This was from last last week, Friday. We closed at 7.14% on the, the daily average that uh, Mortgage News Daily has today. Close of business, we're, we had dropped down. We're going back up as of today. We're at 6 0.90 so we're better than we were last week but we reversed uh, we were dropping based upon rumors of a of that um, uh, debt ceiling thing and negotiation on cutting spending we've now seen it looks like we're going back up on the rates so we'll put that aside and we'll look at last week's numbers and according to the the holy grail of running tallies 52623 we had 16611 in the opportunities that was up over the previous period we were 4441 in the under contract still showing and we remained unchanged at the integer level of the ratio between those two at 27%. This week 62 23 we have 16,440 and that's down we have 4293 in the under contract still showing that's also down and the integer ratio fell to 26 percent one level from there so there we are i think we're doing okay i think we're doing better than the nation and i think there's reason for hope i think that cost of money is going to be an issue and inflation is going to continue to be an issue if we just printed even more money if we didn't cut more off the stack then we're adding back to it i don't know that we're moving in the right direction but we'll see depending on how the rates go we wish you a great and beautiful weekend and we'll see you next week